Today we're going to show you how we made these picture ledges in like less than two hours. Yes, this was a pretty quick project. Hey Remodelaholics, welcome back to our DIY channel. Today we are showing you how we put up these picture ledges. Well, when I say we, I mean. So we have this little space in our office that we needed something to be on the wall and we needed some calendars, like our little dry erase calendars. So we're thinking this will be kind of a fun little switch out. The pictures slide in and out or you can lift them in and out. You could put books, you can put calendars. What else could you put? Tell us in the comments below. We'd love to hear your ideas about what you would use these little ledge shelves for. So now we're gonna show you how we went ahead and built it. So I jumped in SketchUp and started to build a 3D model of it so I can understand exactly how I wanted to put it together and what the dimensions are going to be. I do want to point out that there is a half an inch lip on the shelf where the bottom of the frame will sit and a one and a half inch lip that will hold the top of the picture frame when it's in place. So we have a couple options. We have a brown trim and a silver trim. So these are eight foot boards, basically a one by four. Another option would be about half the price was just regular pine boards or you could do some select pine that has really nice straight lines to it. Some cedar would work really well. If you wanted to paint it you could do some MDF and then we're going to get a nice piece of a 2x2. Two two. It'll be up against the wall on this side and then on this side we'll put the 1x4 in front of that. Okay, so here are the boards that I chose out of the hardware store. I'm now going to cut them to length. I'm going to cut this at 22 inches and I'm going to have four boards at 22 inches long. After I cut them to length, I'm gonna sand them a little bit on the ends. We actually picked the color of the wood based on the color of our floor. You could even use unfinished wood if you wanted more of a natural look that works or have it painted any color. What would you paint it? Let us know. So I've got some weathered gray. And I decided that this weathered gray was a little too blue. And I've got some wheat. So I took some paint thinner, thinned it out a little bit. And mixed some wheat with the gray to give me this color that looks a lot closer to what I want it to be. Kind of a warm gray. I just wanted to make the ends match what's going on with the rest of the wood. All right, we'll let that dry, we'll come back to it, and then I think we're ready to put that on the wall. So this is our sliding picture ledge system. Nice. So this is gonna hold three large frames for either pictures or calendar. Okay. If the frame's the size that we're spacing out for, then it won't tip out. So we're using a 16 by 20 frame and for the frame that we have to slide in we need this distance from the top of this block to the top of this block to be 18 and 3 quarters. Okay. So from the top of each ledge 18 and 3 quarters for this size frame. So he already marked the first line this is where the top of the little shelf piece will be. Okay, so we're centering it on when the door is open and the closet. There's gonna be an inch 
gap up above the frame to give you a little flexibility to get it in and out. So I'm gonna draw on the wall, I'm gonna place where the top of the ledge shelf will be. So you drew the top and the bottom since you're gonna be working from yeah. below. Now I'm gonna find the center of each ledge based on this center. And if you don't have one of these really long levels, you can just use a measuring tape. Okay, where's where's the stud? I got the anyway. built-in stud finder. <laughs> got it. I found that in our house, this texture is so thick, the stud finder can't find the studs. It's right there. Right there? Most likely, yeah, it's right in there. I'm gonna take the drill and just drill a screw in here and see if I hit the stud. Yes, it's right there. Okay, so he's measuring from the center line to the stud. About six and a quarter. Six. So six and a quarter from the center line. Nine and three quarters. It's not nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. Six and a quarter. Just want it deep enough so the screw head doesn't get in the way of the other board sitting on top. I'm gonna have to... Sweep? Sweep, yes. And pre-drill all these holes, just to be safe. So I'm gonna use a two and a half inch screw, just so I can get into the stud at least a half an inch. So this is the first part. Now we're gonna to go to the second part and add the finishing trim on top. Before I add the trim, I'm marking a half an inch down from the top on both sides to make sure we get that half an inch lip on the front. Right now I'm matching the half an inch mark with the top of the block on the wall. I'm using the level just to double check to make sure it's nice Damn. and level. So what do you think? Ta-da! Pretty cool, right? Simple, easy. I didn't really do much. I did some. Give us a thumbs up if you have any cute family photos that you want to share on a lead shelf like this. Be sure to check out our other videos and we will see you really soon.